so here what we have done is that we have tried to conclude the four cases the four connections of the diodes which we have discussed earlier so here it is the first case where both the p and n ends of the diode uh, sorry the p end of the diode is connected to positive terminal or the positive supply voltage and the n end is connected to the negative terminal or the negative supply voltage okay this is the first case p is connected to positive supply voltage and n is connected to negative supply voltage here regardless of the value of vp or vn where vp is the voltage connected to the p end and vn is the voltage connected to the n end so regardless of the value of vp and vn this will always be on the diode in this type of circuit connection with p connected to positive voltage n connected to negative voltage it will always be on it will always be forward biased and it will always conduct so whenever you find a diode with p end connected to positive voltage or to the positive terminal of a supply voltage and n connected to the negative voltage or negative terminal of a voltage you can say that the diode will always conduct it will always be on then is the second case which is the opposite of the first case where p is connected to the negative voltage or the negative terminal of the supply voltage and n is connected to the positive voltage or the positive terminal of the supply voltage so in this type of circuit connection the diode will always be off regardless of the value of vp and vn no matter what the magnitude of vp and vn is if the diode is connected in this type of arrangement with p connected to negative and n connected to positive end of the supply the diode will always be off case 3 with uh, both p and n connected to positive supply voltages or positive terminal of the supply voltages so here there are two situations possible where the magnitude of the supply voltage comes into play so here in the first sub category of case 3 okay the first sub category of case 3 the magnitude of the positive voltage is greater okay the magnitude of the voltage which is connected to the p type end is greater than the magnitude of the supply voltage which is connected to the n type end or vp magnitude is greater than vn magnitude okay both the ends are connected to positive okay both the ends are connected to positive supply voltages but the magnitude of the supply voltage connected to the p type end of the diode is more than that of the supply voltage magnitude connected to the n type end so in this type of circuit connection the diode will always be on okay here again i will repeat that vp is the magnitude of the voltage connected to the p type end and vn is the magnitude of the vn bar is uh, both sides is the magnitude of the voltage connected to the n type end so whenever you will find a circuit arrangement like this with both being connected to the uh, positive terminals or positive supply voltages both b and n if the magnitude of the voltage connected to the p side the positive voltage connected to the p side is greater than the diode will be on in the second uh, sub category of the same case where both p and n ends of the diode are connected to the positive supply voltages but here the magnitude of the positive voltage connected to the n type end is more okay vn magnitude is more than vp or we can say that vp magnitude is less than vn magnitude both are connected to the positive supply voltages but the magnitude of the supply voltage connected to the n type end is more than the magnitude of the supply voltage connected to the p type end so in this case where the n type magnitude is more than vp the diode will always be off okay the diode will always be off we have already discussed by applying ground to ground kvl and the uh, detailed explanation in the video earlier so here we have just concluding it so this is the case where both the p and n ends are connected to the positive supply voltages or positive ends of the supply voltages so here if the p type end is connected to the higher magnitude positive voltage it will be on otherwise it will be off now this is the last case where both p and n are connected to the negative 
supply voltages or the negative terminals of the supply voltages. So, here in the first case the magnitude of the negative supply voltage which is connected to P is more ok. As you can see the magnitude of the supply voltage the negative supply voltage which is connected to P is more or V n magnitude is less than V t magnitude we can also say that. So, the n type it end is connected to a lower magnitude negative voltage which in this case is 5 volt. So, in this case the diode will always be off ok. Both ends are connected to negative supply voltages, but the higher magnitude negative voltage is connected to P type end, the higher magnitude negative voltage is connected to P type end. So, that is why the diode will be off. Now, this is the second subcategory of case 4 where both are connected to negative voltages, both P and N are connected to negative voltages. But the higher magnitude negative voltage ok, the higher magnitude negative voltage is connected to n type n, the higher magnitude negative voltage that is 10 volt which is minus 10 volt here, but it is connected to n end of the diode. So, in this case the magnitude of the n end voltage, the negative end voltage is greater than the magnitude of the p end or the p type end voltage the magnitude of the n type and negative voltage is greater than the magnitude of the p type and positive voltage. So, the diode will be on. So, here we have concluded the four cases of diode connections. So, whenever you come across any circuit related to diode or any other electrical circuit connected to supply voltages, you may come across one of the following two forms. Okay which have been uh, drawn on the left and the right. Now, both of them are the same ok. So, never get confused if you find a diode connected across voltages mentioned like this in this form or you come across diodes connected to voltages in this form. They are the same, they mean the same. So, let us uh, it is a simple thing most of us uh, know it, but just uh, for the purpose so that there is no confusion let us just uh, discuss it a bit. So, here the p type end is connected to plus 10 volt and the n type end is connected to minus 5 volt. Now, what does these two mean plus 10 volt and minus 5 volt? It means that the p type end is connected to the positive terminal of a 10 volt magnitude supply voltage and the n type end is grounded n being connected to minus 5 volt means the n type end of the diode is connected to the negative terminal of the 5 volt magnitude voltage and the plus or the positive end or the positive terminal is grounded. Here plus 10 volt in plus 10 volt plus the plus sign means that it is the end is connected to the positive terminal of the 10 volt magnitude voltage while the negative end is grounded and 10 is the magnitude of the voltage supply. Similarly, in minus 5 volt minus means that this end the negative terminal is connected to the respective circuit element and the 5 the value is the magnitude, the positive terminal is connected to ground. So, whenever you come across a circuit you should know how to represent it in different ways. If it is connected in this form, you must have no difficulty or confusion in understanding or drawing the circuit in this way. So, it is it depends upon you in which type of representation you feel comfortable in applying KVL or any other uh, circuit laws or to determine whether a diode is uh, forward or reverse bias. So, it depends upon your comfort level, your way of understanding how you look at things. So, that is why I discussed this concept both of these things are the same just for the sake of uh, to avoid any confusion related to connection or the on and off of diodes. Now, so these are two are the same things. So, I hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering. Have a great day. Thank you very much.